Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, obviously, I'm doing this look that I'm wearing right here. Super glowy, obviously, every day. Um, but it's also, obviously, quite bright and spring-like. I just wanted to do a kind of colourful springtime tutorial. Obviously, um, on my Instagram, I did, like, a more kind of yellow-toned one that was inspired by Amanda Ensing. Like, she did, like, a spring makeup look. So I just wanted to, like, switch it up um, and do one that's a little bit more bright and colourful. Also, this could actually be quite a good prom look. Like, if you wanted to do a bit more drama, um, I would also do another one that's a little bit more on the soft side, because I know a lot of people won't like to kind of do something this bold. Um, but I really hope that you uh, enjoy this one, and if you want to see how I've got this look, just keep watching, guys. So to start off, I'm going to prep my skin as usual, and I'm, again, going to take my Fast Sally Rose Gold Elixir Oil. Um, I've already moisturised my face as well. If you are going to be using oil, it's always better to put moisturiser down first so that that can sink into the skin, and then you can go on the top with um, the oil. So I'm just gonna press that right into my skin. So I think I'm just gonna do some foundation, and I'm gonna take um, the one that I've been obsessing with recently, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I don't know why I didn't like jump on the bandwagon earlier, um, but I got like a little tester, and literally, like I wore it one day, loved it so much, Went back and bought it the next day. Like, that's not even a joke. Um, so I'm just going to take this, and I'm in the shade 1W1, Bone. I mean, that's when you know you're pale, right? When your foundation shade is called Bone. Like, dish it crazy. I need, I need a holiday. So I'm just going to pump some of it on the back of my hand, and then taking my damp sponge, which is just um, a Real Techniques one, I'm going to pop that onto the skin. So now that I've got that layer of foundation on, I think I'm just going to go in and do my brows quickly. And <clears throat> I'm just going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Granite. And then her <clears throat> clear brow gel. Oh my god, am I okay? Her clear brow gel um, as well. And I'm going to do that off camera because brows are boring. Like, who wants me to spend like 10 minutes on my brows? So I'm going to do them and be right back. So I'm just going to leave them like this for now. And then I might come back to them later on just to finish off like the middle part. So I think I'm just going to move on to concealer. Um... I've been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which is so, so nice. So I think I'm going to use that. It is quite thick, so you really don't need much at all. I'm just going to pop a bit on the back of my hand and then use a brush to apply it. And then I will also blend out with my damp sponge as well. I may have applied too much. But I'll use that um, to prime my lid as well. And then I'll just take the damp sponge immediately after and make sure that that's nice and blended. So I'm just going to go in and immediately set that. I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I've just popped some in the back, uh, in the, like the top of the lid. Um, I'm just going to make sure there's no creasing under the eyes. Let's just blend that out and then using that same damp sponge just makes it a bit more flawless and I'm just going to pop that just under my eyes like trying to avoid this area where I'm going to put my highlight later on and I'm going to take it down the sides of my nose Okay, now while I let that sit and bake I think I'm just going to move on to the eyes and since we're going for like a kind of springtime look I'm thinking kind of on the more pinky, orangey, coral side. So I've got a couple a couple palettes here. I think I might use one of my Huda Beauty ones. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to use the Warm Brown Obsessions palette along with the Electric Obsessions palette. But then I'm also, I think, going to take a lid shade from the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. So I'm just going to take this kind of light pinky shade, but it would just be quite a nice transition. And I'm just going to work that into the crease using a really light hand and like look how much product you get literally just from tapping this into the palette, it's crazy. So for the next shade I'm actually going to move on to the Electric Obsessions palette also by Huda Beauty. Um, and this time I'm going to take the same brush I think, <clears throat> but I'm going to take the really bright kind of orangey coral shade. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease, but just a tiny bit lower. I 
I'm going to switch up my brush to a more like small and precise uh, blending brush and I'm going to pick up the super pink shade, like hot pink shade and I'm going to pop that I think more in the outer corner and then into the crease as well so if I just like pack most of that product on the outer corner and then bring that into the crease Like, the pigment of these shades is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> how mad. Now for this look, I am actually going to cut the lid because I want to do a kind of half cut crease kind of look. So I've just popped a bit of um, concealer on the back of my hand, taking a little flat brush. And I'm just going to carve it out. And another way that you can make this kind of stand out is if I take a really little precise brush, this is more like a liner brush really, pick up some of that pink shade and really lightly just trace, like I mean really lightly, trace around that half cut crease and then you're really going to define that. And at this point I'm going to go back to this brush that we used for the pink and I'm just going to really lightly pat over the edge just so that we're keeping a nice blend. Uh, for the lid shade I'm actually going to go into my soft glam palette from Anastasia. Oh I tell you what I'm going to go with glistening because I think glistening the undertones of that gold shade will, it's this one right here, will kind of complement the pink on my eye. I'm going to pop that right on top and then when you get to that blend just pat really lightly and you can swipe once you get to that edge the edge of the cut crease I always swipe just to try and get that kind of straight line and then when you're getting to the bit where you want it to blend I really lightly pat so I'm going to take a little bit of rose pink which is this nice shimmery pink shade and I'm actually going to pop that in between the gold and the pink and the matte pink I think it might kind of transition it a bit nicer well, we can try, can't we? And then I'm going to go back into the um, blending brush that has that pink on it. And I'm literally going to pick up a little bit of the pink and I'm going to pat lightly. And I'm just going to clean up that kind of outer corner just a little bit. Because I'm not going to put liner with this look. So next I'm just going to move on to my lashes, of course. Um, I've obviously got to prep them before I just go straight in with the lashes. So first I'm going to take my Tarte Sex Kitten Black pen well, Pencil Liner. It's like one of those ones that you kind of can, can twist. Can I speak today? No, of course I can't. Uh, I'm just going to run this in, like, I'm going to tight line because I'm going to run it in my upper waterline. Hit my lashes with a coat of mascara. I might just curl them first. Um, it's just a habit that I just always come. So I'll just pop a bit of this on. Not too much, obviously, because I'm going to go with some dramatic lashes. For lashes, I'm going to go in with my favourite brand of lashes ever, which is Lily Lashes. These are in the style Miami. They're not quite as dramatic as Mykonos, but, you know, they're, they're almost there. And then try and put them as close to your lash line as possible. I just find it a lot easier to use tweezers, but if you find it easier to use your hands, go ahead. I freaking love these lashes. I'm kind of into this eye look as well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not normally a pink gal. I'm not. But a bit of pink eyeshadow, I can get on board with. Lash, let's do the bottom lash line. So I'm going to pick up the same shades, basically, that we've got on the top, um, the top of my eyes. So I'm going to use the bright hot pink shade and then also the coral shade as well. God, I'm literally obsessed with these palettes. I think I need to get every single one. So now I'm going to move on to a bit of cream contour. So I'm actually going to take my NYX uh, Wonder Stick. And I haven't used this in ages, but I remember really loving the colour. Um, and it's almost finished, so that's probably why I stopped using it. <laughs> I probably just like tried something else for a while. So I'm actually just going to use my damp sponge to blend that out. So 
So next I'm just going to warm up my face using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to take the middle shade because that's just my favourite one to use. Um, and I'm just using this little like fan brush. I don't know why. just felt like using it today. I've noticed quite a few people have been using it for like contour and bronzing. So, and this one's, um, I think this is also from Iconic London, is it? Yes. So I'm going to use my Too Faced bronzer and then I like to use this because it's a lot lighter and then with a little like fluffy brush oh my god it smells incredible as well I think some just came in my mouth and it kind of tastes good as well what the fuck um, and then I just use that just to go down the sides of my nose a little bit and then since we've got that done oh I'm going to move on to highlight and first I'm going to take my cover effects custom enhancer drops in the shade moonlight these are spectacular honestly so pigmented, I'll pigment down. So good. So I'm going to use my damp sponge and picking up just a little bit. I'm going to use this as my base. Cool. So next, I'm going to take my favourite highlight ever, which is my. I'm Reezy Highlight with Anastasia and just pick some of that up. Wow, like, do you see this? Do you see this? And we can just keep layering it up and then down my nose. Basically just everywhere, all over my face. Then I'm going to go in with a bit of blush and I'm going to take my NARS Orgasm blush which is just one, well, it's probably my all-time favourite blush, to be perfectly honest. And I'm just going to pop that mainly on the apples of my cheeks and then try not to go too ham since we do have a lot of pink going on in the eyes. Just get rid of all that powder. I might go in with this um, Tarte Tartius Lip Paint in the shade Novel, I believe it's called. might also take just a little bit of um, this lipstick, it's by Dose of Colours and it's called Soft Touch. It's a super super light pink. So this is the final look you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It's the first of obviously a range of spring tutorials and I did also think this would actually be quite good for like a prom look as well. If you're wearing quite a kind of neutral nudie outfit, um, you could always just do like a pink makeup look, you know, make it pop a little bit more. Um, I will also do a more kind of soft prom makeup look as well because I know that that will be coming up soon. Um, but if you did like this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that would really help me out. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, and all of the products will be listed in the bottom bar below as per usual along with all my social media and all of that shit. You know. But yeah apart from that I look forward to seeing you guys uh, next week. Okay. Bye.